Hey, welcome to today's daily English vocabulary lesson. Now we are starting a brand new book. We're on daily English vocabulary book number five. And again, get your copy by going to www.studywithtiffany.com. Now the word we are going to start with today is word number one, and it is console. So I want you to repeat after me console. Excellent. Again, after me console. Great job. Now I want us to dive into this a little bit more because pronunciation can be a little bit tricky. So again, this word is basically broken down into two parts. We have the first part being con, right? That C sound sometimes can be a little bit tricky. Now, what I want you to remember is when you're making the sound in English, you basically want to make sure some sound is coming out of your mouth, but you want it to be like air. Watch. If you put your hand in front of your mouth and you do, you can feel the air actually hitting your hand. That's what you need to remember for the first part. Con. Now the second portion soul starts off with the S sound. Now for the S sound, you want to focus on having your tongue on the roof of your mouth, the roof of your mouth. But what's going to happen is you want to let a little bit of air come through your tongue. So let's do that right here. Again, a little air is coming over. So right between your tongue and the roof of your mouth. So it sounds like this S kind of like a snake. You know how snakes make that sound, right? When they're going through the grass, the S sound, right? So when you're trying to say this word console, remember the first part k and the second part. S. So again, after me console. Excellent. Now, what does this word actually mean? Console actually means to give comfort. It means to give comfort or sympathy to someone. Again, it means to give comfort or sympathy to think about this way and it this way. If someone is feeling sad and that person happens to be your close friend, what are you going to do? You're going to comfort them. Let them know, Hey, it's going to be okay. I hope you feel better. What you're doing is consoling them. So let's check out an example sentence. Here we go. The mother consoled her son. Makes sense. When a child is crying, they go to one of their parents, right? So again, the mother consoled her son. Think about a time when you needed someone to console you or comfort you make sense. All right. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson.